Hypersonic weapons defense has been in focus for some time now since the risk is increasing as more and more countries are developing this type of weapon. U.S. military could soon have a new option in this domain, and that will be air-launched. The Missile Defense Agency, MDA, has singled out the AIM-174B gunslinger as a potential asset for countering hypersonic threats. According to reports, the platform could be equipped with newly developed area effect munition to enhance its effectiveness. A recent MDA solicitation explicitly mentions the SM-6 air-launched capability, AIM-174B, in this context. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how AIM-174B with Area Effect Warhead could be used for hypersonic defense by the U.S. military. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted and fastest VPN brand that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte. NordVPN provides a 256-bit encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy and also enables you to access contents that are blocked based on geolocation. Its threat protection system helps you avoid phishing, scams, and malware. NordVPN application is available for all the major platforms as well as browsers. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive saving by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. An object is said to be hypersonic once it exceeds the speed of Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second, or 3,836 miles per hour, or 6,174 kilometers per hour. The extreme speed of hypersonic weapons and the ability to fly in erratic paths give them a much higher probability of penetrating modern air defenses. They are very hard to track, let alone intercept. It is to be noted that traditional ballistic missiles also reach hypersonic speed when they descend down on the target but they follow a relatively predictable parabolic path, which leaves scope for interception by anti-ballistic missile defense systems. Hypersonic weapons combine the speed of ballistic missiles with the maneuverability of cruise missiles. These characteristics make hypersonic weapons a potent threat. Hypersonic weapons are mainly of three types. Hypersonic cruise missiles, HCM, air-launched ballistic missile, ALBM, and hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV. Several hypersonic weapons in each of these categories are already operationally deployed, including by adversaries. Russia has fielded Kinzhal, Avangard, and Zircon, and China has deployed DFZF. M174B is essentially an air-to-air -air version of surface-to-air SM6. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, ERAM, or Standard Missile 6, SM-6, has been deployed primarily by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It is a proven missile developed by Raytheon, which is mainly intended to be launched from MK-41 vertical launch system cells present in U.S. Navy warships like Arleigh Burks. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare purposes providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. The SM-6 can also be used to strike high-priority ground targets, such as air defense sites and warships, acting as a quasi-ballistic missile. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4 missile and some targeting elements from AIM-120C AMRAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with a semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target, and the active seeker having the missile itself send out an electromagnetic signal. It possesses a 140-pound or 64-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5 and a range of 230 miles or 370 kilometers when launched against aerial targets from the surface. Given that AIM-174B, unlike SM-6, will be launched from a fast-moving high-altitude platform, it could reach a strike range of more than 250 miles or 400 kilometers. The recent solicitation titled Prototype Payloads highlights the Missile Defense Agency's interest in advancing to a Phase II proposal stage. Reserved for concepts that have already shown potential, to meet performance requirements for high-end missile defense systems, the solicitation calls for wide-area effect concepts that would operate at sea, 
designed to complement current systems such as the RIM-161, RIM-174, and future PAC-3 MSE interceptors. As reported by Naval News, MDA officials clarified that the proposal is targeted at small businesses and focuses exclusively on the warhead, not the delivery system. The warhead must be adaptable to multiple platforms with a particular emphasis on air launch capabilities. Furthermore, the MDA is prioritizing designs that are past the initial development phase and seeking scalable payloads, depending on the size and power constraints of the delivery vehicle. Among the platforms identified for this role, the MDA specifically highlighted the AIM-174B as the air launch delivery vehicle. Area effect munition could turn near misses into successful interception. Raytheon's SM-6 missile, traditionally launched from surface ships, has demonstrated strong performance against various aerial threats, but has shown only limited effectiveness against hypersonic targets. As of 2022, U.S. Navy officials identified the SM-6 as the only operationally deployed U.S. system capable of engaging hypersonic weapons. However, that landscape has evolved, with the PAC-3 MSE later proving its capabilities by successfully intercepting hypersonic missiles in Ukraine. In March of this year, the USS Pinckney DDG-91 successfully carried out flight test Other-40 FTX-40, also known as Stellar Banshee. The test utilized Lockheed Martin's Aegis combat system to detect, track, and engage a live advanced hypersonic medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM target, using a simulated SM-6 Block 1 AU interceptor. Conducted with the support of the Missile Defense Agency, U.S. Navy, Lockheed Martin, and other industry partners, FTX-40 represented a realistic hypersonic threat engagement scenario. It's no surprise that the AIM-174B, being a modified air launch variant of the SM-6, has emerged as a leading contender in the evolving counter-hypersonic defense landscape. Its agility and extended operational range reflect a strategic shift toward more flexible, dynamic interception capabilities. Unlike the ship-launched SM-6, the AIM-174B does away with the MK-72 first-stage booster to accommodate the size, weight, and balance constraints of aircraft integration. However, being air-launched offers unique advantages. Launched from high altitudes by apparent aircraft, it benefits from improved kinematic performance and range compared to surface-based launches from naval platforms. For confronting advanced hypersonic threats, especially in large-scale or rapidly shifting scenarios, an air-launched interceptor like the AIM-174B provides critical operational flexibility. It broadens the potential engagement envelope and enables deployment from mobile platforms, enhancing both expeditionary mission capabilities and homeland defense readiness.